Hello there, my name is Mauro Sicard from Bricks and Plates, and today I'm going to show you how to easily edit an individual template CMS collection. Often, a lot of our users are looking to have customized individual template collections, and this can be a little confusing at the start if you are not very familiar with Webflow, so let me explain. Let's say that, for example, you are a freelancer and you have like this template, which is one of our art templates or like art portfolio templates, and you go into, into work. In here, you will see that you have like a few different like portfolio pieces of your of yours. And in this particular case, what you will very likely want is to edit the individual content of these pages. You can see here that you know, like we have a title, we have some text, and like there's just a lot of things in here. So it is very often that it can be confusing how to edit this more if you are not very familiar with Webflow. A lot of our users go into you know, like the template here and they go into portfolio template here, the one you can see like just in CMS and start making changes directly on that. For example, here, like trying to, to change, like remove these and like start typing it in. But the problem is that as this is a CMS, if you make changes on this portfolio template page that it's on portal, these changes are going to get applied across all of your template CMS individual pages. And you don't want that because you want to have like multiple variety of these different pages. So if you actually want to edit the content on one of these, what you need to do is to go here into CMS and you will find portfolio. You will see that you have these CMS in which you can enter you can tweak like all the content in here and it is automatically going to generate another page without you doing anything else. All of the kind of information points are already kind of explained here. You can see that it says, for example, project uh, body one or like website link or deliverables and all of these things. You can even add more or you can like change the text or add more images, pretty much anything that you want. Uh, you will see that it's just a matter of like creating one of these, clicking save, and you are done. That being said, it is very common for clients to also want to have different layouts on these pages. So probably you want, you, you don't just want different content. Maybe you want like to remove this complete section, but just on one uh, particular element. In that particular case, what you will need to do is to transform this page from a CMS page into an static page. The difference between a static page and a CMS page is that a static page is just one page that is not repeated. Like for example, the home page. The home page is just one page and it doesn't need to be repeated, so that's an static page. A CMS page on the other side, it's a page that is going to get redone again and again. Like for example, the portfolio item or the blog posts. So if you want to have to configure this page to be completely customizable without affecting the others. Yeah, like, and with that, I mean like being able to change the layout or add new sections or remove sections. What you need to do is pretty much copy these, uh, like these sections into an static page. So I will give you an example of how that works. Uh, you, what you pretty much need to do is that you're, you need to create uh, a sample page. You, you, you go here and you click, click create and create like a, like another page. In this case, as we're on demo mode, we cannot create, but we will go into the contact one and give you an example. I will remove the content from this contact page. As you can see it's already gone. Uh, we now have only the header and the footer. So at that point, we will go back into the portfolio template and you will see that like here, we already have like all of these items and all of those are connected to the CMS. You can see that because those are on portal. Everything that it's on portal is connected to the CMS. So we select this element, we copy and paste it, and you can see that we just created another version of this page here at the bottom, as you can see it here. So we will open this second one, and I'm I'm duplicating it to avoid like breaking the original. So you can have the original just as it is. We and you can also have the other one. So you will remove the header, you will remove uh, the footer, and for everything else, it will be a matter of starting disconnecting things. For example, here you can see like this connected. You can just disconnect it. Same thing with here. Same thing with uh, with the image in here. Let me just find the image. Uh, yeah, there 
to go. Here's the e-mesh. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can see that, for example, this section now is already a static section. Uh, unless I'm missing something, I hope uh, I am not. Uh, this section is already you know, like kind of complete in that sense. So I can copy that section. I can go back to the page that I created, like in this case, the contact page, and I can paste it right in there. Uh, sorry, it's... it's uh, yeah, you can see it's already here. Okay, so for some reason, the, the contact page got you know, like generated again because I'm on the demo mode. But you will see that like us, you will just paste that. You can see like this section, it's already here. And we just change that. What you need to do is you just need to repeat that same process, okay? So you need to go back to your, you know, like, for the follow template page and do the same thing with the others. In my particular case, you will see that, you know, like, it just gets going back because I'm on the demo. But in your case, you know, like, this will just keep the way it is. Like, it will keep the way you live it. So those are the two ways. Um, just summarizing this because I know it can be a little confusing at the start. You always have two options if you want to have all your CMS individual pages the same look and feel, just change the content. You can do it directly from the CMS. It's already built in. You don't need to do anything else. Just fill out all your data here and it's going to create a page. On the other side, if you want to like have another separate page that has a separate layout, probably you want to add more sections, probably you want to remove some sections, but you don't want to affect the other pages and you want that page to be different from the others, you need to transform that page from a CMS into an static page. And in that sense, what you just need to do is pretty much what I described it here, of you like just all linking the CMS items, selecting the items, all linking them so these are not connected to the CMS and then copying them to an static page. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I know this can be a little technical uh, and even more if you're just starting on Webflow, but I really hope this video uh, was very useful to, to you. Uh, you will see that this thing applies on many templates. So like this is just one particular example, but you can you could probably bought the dark template and you will see the case is pretty much the same. Uh, so if you follow this tutorial, you will be perfectly uh, able to resolve this issue. And if not, please feel free to send us an email. We're more than happy to help you out. You'll send us an email to support at bridgetemplate.com. You can do the click here, contact us on, on uh, our homepage or directly here on the on the contact us as well. And we will be more than happy to help you out. Remember that our support team is here to help you and our goal is for you to be like as easy as possible onboarded to the template. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Mauro Sicard from Bix Templates and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.